Hello folks, it's Mr Neil here. In this video, I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step on how to do the Chase the Pizza tutorial. Microsoft Make Code Arcade just by Googling it and then we're going to do the Chase the Pizza activity. So we're working in blocks. This tutorial is works with two sprites. We have got a player and a food sprite. The goal of the game is to eat as much pizza as you can before the time runs out. Each time your player catches the pizza, you gain points and the countdown is restarted. So we're going to click on OK and we're going to read these instructions along the top here. So open the scene toolbox, drag the set background colour into the on start block. So we're going to go into scene, set background colour and put it inside the on start and we're going to click next. In the set background colour, click on the grey oval to open the colour palette and select a background colour. So we're going to click any colour we want. I'm going to go for the light blue. And we'll see what that looks like in the emulator. There we go. So I've just clicked the play down here and I can see it in the emulator on the left hand side. So we're going to click next. Open the sprites toolbox and drag the first set my sprite into on start. We're going to click next. Draw your player character by clicking on the grey square in the set my sprite block. To open the sprite editor, use the colour palette and design tools to draw an image on the canvas. So I'm going to click here, and I'm not very artistic. So I'm going to click on gallery, and I'm going to find one of the pre-built sprites that uh, Make Code Arcade has. Let's go for let's go for a monkey. So it's a monkey, and then we click done. Okay, so I've got a wee monkey as my player, then we're going to click next. Open the controller toolbox and drag the move my sprite with buttons block after the set my sprite block. So we're going to go controller, move my sprite, and we're going to set it with the buttons. And what that means is once the emulator loads, I can use the arrow keys on my keyboard. Or if I'm working on a tablet, I can use the arrow keys here in this kind of the joystick area. So we're now going to click next, open the sprites toolbox and drag another set my sprite to block into the on start block in your workspace. This will be a pizza. So we're going to go to sprites, set my sprite to, and we're going to put that there. We're going to click next. In the set my, click on and select rename variable. So we're going to click here. We're going to click rename variable and we're going to call it pizza and we're going to click OK. I'm going to click next. In the set pizza block, click on the player and change it to food. It should be said that as I'm working through this, if you want to pause at any point and go and do it, that is absolutely fine. I'm going to click next. This time again, I'm just reading these instructions. Click on the grey box for the set pizza and then click on the gallery view, view. Scroll to find the image of a small pizza. So just what we did last time, gallery view, find a picture of a pizza. Let's go for this one and click done. And then we're going to click next. Oh, look, there's my piece of pizza. Open the sprites toolbox, draw and drag the on sprite overlights other sprite block into your workspace. We can place it anywhere. So we're going to in sprites, on sprite. Okay, I'm going to put it there. Awesome. In the on sprite overlaps other sprite block, click on the second player kind after the other sprite to open the menu, select food. So there's the other sprite. So we want to change that from player to food. We click next. When your player overlaps with the pizza sprite, let's add point to our game. So we're going to open info. We're going to say change score and we're going to put it inside this on sprite overlaps block. And then we click next. Let's set the position of the pizza to random locations around the screen. Open the sprites toolbox and drag the set my sprite position block into the on sprite overlap. So we're going to go sprites, set my sprite position, and we're going to put that in there. We'll then get click on next. We need to change the name of it from my sprite to pizza. Then we're going to click next. Open the math box and drag to pick randoms. 
drop one into the X position and drop one into the Y position. Click next. The game mask grid is 160 by 120. In the first pick random block, in the X coordinate of the set position block, change the maximum value from 10 to 160. So we change that to 160. In the second pick random, we're going to change it to 120. Okay. So now if we test the game, I click the pizza, you'll see that my points are going up. Cool that, isn't it? Okay. So let's start our countdown each time. Open the info box and start countdown and we're going to drag it into here. Click next. Congratulations, you have completed the game. So what does that mean? So I've got a 10 second timer. And what happens if I don't time out? If I just let it time out, what happens here? Does our game end? Do we go into negative time? Oh, our game ends. Oh, no. So we hit the A button. And each time I get a pizza, oh, it restarts every time. That's quite cool. That's me finish the basic uh, tutorial. Really nice and simple. So what you could have a go at doing now is before we share it, you could maybe add another food item. So maybe a food item that um, adds more points. So instead of getting one point, you get lots of different points. Um, or maybe an item that takes away points. Have a wee play, see what you can do. Once you've finished it, if you just click share, put your name after the, the, the project and then just publish that project into your uh, copy that code 